Today I am going to take your lesson. The topic is foreign exchange rate. Let us start the topic. Now foreign exchange rate, it is the rate at which currency of one country is exchanged with the currency of another country. A foreign trade, for foreign trade we have to exchange a currency. Every country is having different currency. So we have rupees. America has which currency? Dollars. Dollars. So if we want to trade with America, we have to fix a rate with the help of which we can make the export and import. So for that export and import, we have to fix the exchange rate. So let me repeat. So let me repeat. For an exchange rate is that rate at which we exchange the currency of one country with the currency of another country. For example, we can exchange the Indian rupee with dollars, we can exchange the pounds with dollars, we can exchange the pounds with Indian rupee. For example, if I write One dollar is equal to rupees fifty. That is the exchange rate. That we can exchange one dollar with fifty rupees. It is the exchange rate. Sometimes you will find that one dollar becomes rupees forty-five. That is the exchange rate. With forty-five rupees, we can buy one dollar. So this is known as foreign exchange rate. With many currencies. This is formed. Now this exchange rate takes place in foreign exchange market. Now how we will define foreign exchange market? Foreign exchange market is the market where the currencies of foreign countries are exchanged. Where we take care of the demand and supply of foreign currencies. That market is known as foreign exchange market. Now this foreign exchange rate, it, it has two types. So we found two types of foreign exchange rate. It is given here, fixed exchange rate and flexible exchange rate. I write here. Two types. Fixed exchange rate. The other one is flexible exchange rate. Now, how will you define fixed exchange rate? Is the rate which is fixed by the government? So, that is the most important. It is fixed by the government in terms of gold or any other currency. Suppose I have written example I have that one dollar is equal to fifty rupees. If it is fixed by government, then it will be known as fixed exchange rate. That's why it is known as fixed. It is fixed by the government in terms of gold or in terms of any other currency. Now this fixed exchange rate does not changes with the change in demand and supply of foreign currencies. In the market, sometimes demand goes up of foreign currencies and supply becomes less, sometimes supply becomes more. So with the changes in demand and supply, this fixed exchange rate does not change. Only the government has the power to change. If then government wants to change it, it will change. But again it will remain Fixed. So that says fixed exchange rate. Now the second one is flexible exchange rate. It is flexible exchange rate. It is, is determined by the forces of demand and supply. Forces of demand and supply of foreign currency.
flexible exchange rate is determined by the forces of demand and supply of foreign currencies. Now this is flexible. It means this exchange rate will change according to the changes in demand and supply. It will not remain fixed. As the supply or demand will change, it will also change. It doesn't remain fixed. So here government has no role to play. Here government has fixed the exchange rate and it will not change according to demand and supply. But here it is determined by demand and supply. So as the demand and supply will change, this exchange rate will also change. change. This is two types of exchange rate. Now there are merits and demerits. Now what are the merits of fixed exchange rate? First one, it ensures stability in exchange rate. आपने एक बार फिक्स कर दिया दैट 51 डॉलर इज इक्वल टू 50 रुपीस नाउ इट इज फिक्स्ड फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म इट इज नॉट फॉर वन फॉर ईयर इट इज फिक्स्ड फॉर लॉन्ग ईयर लॉन्ग ईयर नाउ व्हेन इट इज फिक्स्ड द ट्रेडर्स फ्रॉम अदर कंट्रीज दे विल गेट द कॉन्फिडेंस ये चेंज होने वाला नहीं है इट विल रिमेन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड वी कैन मेक द फॉरेन ट्रेड वी कैन मेक द इंपोर्ट एंड एक्सपोर्ट विद द सेम एक्सचेंज रेट सो इट एंश्योर्स स्टेबिलिटी इट गिव्स कॉन्फिडेंस टू द traders next one is it promotes capital movements capital movements means investment it promotes direct foreign direct investment in the country because exporters and importers have no fear for the capital loss they know that this exchange rate will remain same humko aaj ye dar bana rehta hai ki kal agar dollar ki price kam ho gayi तो हमको नुकसान हो जाएगा आज हमने इतने पे इन्वेस्ट किया था लेकिन इस केस में ऐसा कोई लॉस का नुकसान का डर नहीं है सो दे हैव कॉन्फिडेंस सो दे कैन द फॉरेन इन्वेस्टर्स कैन इन्वेस्ट इन आवर कंट्री व्हेन एक्सचेंज रेट इज फिक्स्ड नेक्स्ट वन इज इट प्रिवेंट्स स्पेक्युलेशन स्पेक्युलेशन इज सट्टा सट्टे की जो गतिविधियां होती हैं फॉर अर्निंग प्रॉफिट सपोज एट प्रेजेंट द प्राइस ऑफ डॉलर इज लेस So, अगर आपको लगता है कि इस समय सस्ता है डॉलर और जब महंगा होगा तब मैं बेच दूंगा अभी खरीद के रख लेता हूं जब महंगा होगा तो मैं बेच दूंगा वेन यू आर इन्वॉल्व इन सच एक्टिविटीज दैट इज नोन एज स्पेक्यूलेशन और फिक्स एक्सचेंज रेट में ऐसी स्पेक्यूलेशन की कोई गुंजाइश नहीं होती बिकॉज इट इज गोइंग टू रिमेन फिक्स सो इट प्रिवेंट्स स्पेक्यूलेशन देर इज नो चांसेस फॉर स्पेक्यूलेशन इन द फॉरन एक्सचेंज मार्केट सो वी हैव थ्री मेरिट्स मेन थ्री मेरिट्स ऑफ fixed exchange rate now the demerit of fixed exchange rate central bank has to keep necessary reserves reserves of foreign exchange because it is fixed by government fixed by government now the central bank is the bank of the government so central bank has to keep a large amount of foreign reserves to maintain this exchange rate because in the market demand and supply is changes now the it is the central bank who will keep the balance between demand and supply so in this type of exchange rate the central bank has to keep a good balance between demand and supply of foreign currency and to maintain it it has to maintain a foreign exchange reserve it is necessary for central bank the so second one there may be undervaluation or overvaluation of the currency because we are deciding the price of our currency government is only deciding the foreign exchange rate na so we are only deciding the price of our currency so there are possibilities sometimes we can overvalued our currency or maybe sometimes we will undervalued our currency so there are chances of undervaluation or overvaluation of the currency so these are the main two things now come to flexible exchange rate at present in india we have flexible exchange rate so what are the merits and demerits of flexible exchange rate first one jo yahan par demerits the it will become merits of flexible exchange rate what were the demerits that central bank has to keep necessary reserves now in flexible exchange rate because central bank is not in the role in the picture so it has it does not have to keep any reserves for the for maintaining this exchange rate it is only the demand and supply 
who is balancing the foreign exchange rate. So now flex, for flexible exchange rate, when we have the system of flexible exchange rate in our country, at that time there is no need to keep any reserve by the central bank. Any deficit or surplus in the balance of payments is automatically dissolved in the flexible exchange rate. It is already uh, automatically sought. Central bank has no role to play. The second one, there is no possibility of undervaluation or overvaluation of the currency because government is not doing the valuation. It is the demand and supply who is establishing the foreign exchange rate. So there is no possibility of undervaluation or overvaluation over of the currency. So it is the merit of flexible exchange rate. Now what are the demerits of flexible exchange rate? The first thing is it creates instability, it creates uncertainty in the environment. Because you don't know. Aaj kya rate hai? Kal kya rate hoga? Ek mehne ke baad kya rate hoga? So there is always a situation of uncertainty in the market. It's always a risk factor is very high. All the foreign traders, all the foreign investors, they have to think about the market and then they have to invest in the country. Because sometimes they can earn profit and sometimes there can be capital loss. So in flexible exchange rate, there is always uncertainty, sorry, uncertainty and instability in the foreign exchange market. That is the one demerit. And the second, it encourages speculation. Here there was no speculation because exchange rate was fixed. There was no chances of increase or decrease in the exchange rate. But here, the price come here. डॉलर का तो कुछ लोग उसको खरीद के रख लेते हैं उनको ये उम्मीद रहती है कि जब प्राइस महंगा होगा तो उसको बेच देंगे सो दे आर इन्वॉल्व इन सच एक्टिविटीज टू अर्न मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट सो फॉर अर्निंग प्रॉफिट देर आर स्पेकुलेशन एक्टिविटीज वेन द कंट्री इज हैविंग फ्लेक्सीबल एक्सचेंज इज इट क्लियर ओके नाउ वी कम टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस टॉपिक दैट इज द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ फॉरन एक्सचेंज रेट and that is the important part determination of foreign exchange rate now determination now there were two types of foreign exchange rate one was fixed the fixed exchange rate was determined by government. हमको तो कुछ करना ही नहीं। तो हम किस determination की बात कर रहे हैं? Flexible exchange rate. So I am going to tell you the determination of flexible exchange rate, which is determined by by demand and supply of of foreign currency. So there are two factors. Demand and supply. So first we will see these two factors in detail and then we will go to the determination. First factor is demand. Demand. Now why we demand foreign exchange? Or when we demand foreign exchange? Can you tell me? That's correct. Two? When we want to buy foreign goods, we need foreign currency, so we demand foreign currency. So there are main sources of demand for foreign exchange. So when we demand foreign exchange, so main areas, first one, to purchase goods and services from other countries. When we want to import, when we are buying goods and services from another country that is known as import. So to import the commodities from other countries, we need foreign exchange. So we demand foreign exchange. That is the one thing. Second thing, we need foreign exchange to send the gifts to our relatives or the other government in foreign countries. Or even if our government wants to send some grant to some other undeveloped country, 
Then also we need foreign currency. So second thing is to send gifts and grants to foreigners or to foreign currencies, countries. We need foreign exchange. Now the third one is to invest. Indian businessman wants to establish industry in some other country. Rupees se kam chalega kya? Nahi chalega. Aap jis country mein invest karne ja rahe hain, aapko apna paisa unki currency mein convert karna hoga. It means you need the currency of that country. So the third one is when our investors want to invest in other countries, then they demand foreign exchange. That is the third thing. Now fourth, to speculate. As I told you, आप foreign currency खरीद के रख लेंगे जब सस्ता है तब खरीद के रख लेंगे और जब महंगा होगा तो आप बेचना चाहते हैं। So अगर आपको खरीद के भी रखना है, naturally you are demanding foreign currency. अगर इस समय सस्ता है, तो आप ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा demand करेंगे अपने पास रखने के। So fourth thing is to speculate. आप भविष्य में जब पैसा बढ़ेगा तब खरीद बेचने के लिए आप उसके लिए तैयार हैं तो उसके लिए आप एट प्रेजेंट ज्यादा से ज्यादा करेंसी की डिमांड करते हैं तो फर्स्ट वन टू परचेज गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज फ्रॉम अदर कंट्रीज सेकंड वन टू सेंड द गिफ्ट्स टू अदर कंट्रीज एंड टू सेंड द ग्रांट टू अदर कंट्रीज थर्ड थिंग टू इन्वेस्ट इन अदर कंट्रीज एंड फोर्थ इज टू स्पेक्युलेट नाउ द लास्ट थिंग इज टू मेक पेमेंट्स ऑफ इंटरनेशनल लोन्स World Bank से लोन लिया है, IMF से लोन लिया है, USC से लोन लिया है आपने। You want to give it back, or you have to pay the interest, then you demand foreign currency because you have to pay back, pay it back in foreign currency in the terms of foreign currency. So these are the main points of demand for foreign exchange. Why we demand foreign exchange? Is it clear? Now, now what is the relationship between foreign exchange rate? and demand. I am going to tell you the relationship between foreign exchange rate and demand. For example, price of US dollar in India falls from rupees 50 to rupees 40. It is the price of one dollar. If the price of US dollar in India falls from rupees 40 to rupees 50. Sorry, 50 to 40. Now what does it mean? It means that earlier Indians have to pay 50 rupees to buy one dollar worth of goods. One dollar worth of American goods. From US से एक डॉलर के बराबर चीजें खरीदने के लिए अमेरिका की एक डॉलर के बराबर चीजें खरीदने के लिए हमको कितना पे करना पड़ रहा था? Fifty rupees. But now we have to pay only forty. For the same amount of goods and services ना? In America one dollar में आप जितनी चीजें खरीदते हैं पहले वो आप कितने में खरीद रहे थे? Fifty. अब आप कितना पे कर रहे हैं? Forty. Forty. It means American goods have become cheaper. Cheaper. That is Result. Now American goods cheaper. So Indians will demand more and more American goods. Now we want to buy more American goods. When we want to buy more American goods, the demand for dollars will increase. increase. Clear? The demand will increase. Now when the demand is increasing? See, when the price of the dollar is falling, the demand for dollar is increasing. So what is the relationship? Inverse relationship. The curve will go like this. No? This is the demand for dollar. This side variable. This side rate of exchange. And here demand for foreign currency. Price has come down 
and the demand for dollars increased. Is it clear? So this was the relationship between foreign exchange rate and demand for foreign exchange. There is inverse relationship. So the demand curve will slow downwards. Down. Clear? Now we will come to the second side, which is the supply, supply side. How will we get the foreign exchange? What are the sources? Just opposite of demand. I mean, import करते हैं तो foreign exchange. Import करते हैं तो foreign exchange को मांग रहे हैं. We demand for foreign exchange. और जब export करेंगे तो we'll get foreign currency. So supply कब हो रही है? Supply of foreign exchange. Supply के लिए when foreigners purchase our goods and services, then we get foreign currency. So by export, in other words, we can say that by exports we get foreign currencies. That is the one thing. Second, when foreigners invest in our country, Americans are investing in our country, they will bring dollars here, they will change it. So our dollars.